Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to transform your passion into your career. I'm stressed. <laughs> oh God. This is about to be a week. Like I have so many art related projects due this week. That's exciting because I actually get to draw and paint and stuff, but there's like sharp deadlines. And like, if I don't like what I make, I don't have time to like redo it. What's up guys, I'm sitting in my bed right now doing this voiceover nice and comfy. I wanted to show you guys my underpainting process for this because it's pretty different from the last time in the Strawberry Mama where I showed you my underpainting. This you can see how slowly I'm working. I actually did a digital mock-up beforehand so I'm using that as a guide as you can see below the canvas. So I'm just throwing in some construction lines to establish my composition and then I'm going to throw in some other values to get things moving. cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la república dominicana all right guys so today's friday and if you've been around town you know that means i packaged my order so i started working on that i got a lot of orders this week though so and when i mean a lot i mean like the most i've ever gotten in a week which is amazing thank you guys so much i really appreciate it a lot of you guys got the strawberry mama, so that's really exciting. Um, but I was not expecting so many orders, so I'm short on packaging supplies. So I literally can only do like a third of the packaging. Hey, that's one of the things that you want to see. <laughs> that's one of the things I got going on. Ignore my snack, but <laughs> the fact that this is not even half of the orders I got this week is absolutely insane. This is about 45. Um, they still have to be wrapped and put in the envelope. Um, but look at this mess. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you guys. I'm trying to step up my packaging game a little bit. So I made these little face stickers that have like my... I, I don't know if you'd really call this my logo, but it's um, it's supposed to be racking, uh, I don't know. It's um, just a fun way to mix it up, you know what I mean? So makes it just that much more exciting, I think. This is going out to Adriana Cruz. You were my very first Strawberry Mama order. How amazing is that? Thank you so much. Okay, oh, and a thank you card. Of course, how can we forget? All right, I gotta do that like a hundred more times, so. Okay. 
Okay, so at this point I was pretty much done with my underpainting and I started the actual acrylic painting process. Um, my underpainting is just a series of acrylic washes to establish my colors and some values and then I feel more comfortable painting on top. Okay, so I asked you guys on my Instagram for some questions and a lot of you were interested in the inspiration behind this piece. So this is kind of um, part of the Strawberry Mama childhood series. This piece in particular is focused on my childhood home. Um, there's definitely a lot more to that story, but I don't really have time for that today, but maybe for another video. If you're interested in the paints I use, I use Lucas. Oh, I use Lucas brand gouache. Oh, no, this is not gouache, this is acrylic. Um, I use some funky colors, guys. Um, it's um, it's a good brand, not sponsored. I'd let you know if it was. I'd be pretty psyched about it. It's not super pricey, and I can get like huge tubes of it. Oh, we'll just wait till you see the real ones. I get tubes like this big, and they literally will last you the rest of your freaking life. I don't know. I don't really think the art supply really makes or breaks the painting. You can make good art with anything, um, literally. I've seen people paint with like weird stuff. So, yeah. Come here. Come on. Come here. Good girl. I'm popping in here to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I have nothing but good things to say about Squarespace. I've been using them for over a year for both my online store and my portfolio, and it is so easy to use, so easily customizable. I still get so many questions all the time from other young artists asking how to start in our business, how to sell your prints, how to build an online presence, and literally I give so much credit to Squarespace. I'm able to link my YouTube channel, my Instagram posts, put my shop on my site, I have my portfolio, I have an about page, I have a frequently asked questions page that I'm still working on. It just gets the job done. It's all you need. I just. It's perfect. If you're an artist and you don't have a website, get on Squarespace right now. You can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sorgi and you will get 10% off your first website or domain. Alla. Thank you so much again, Squarespace. It is such a pleasure to be partnered with you guys. I love what you're doing. I love your platform. It's amazing. So again, if you don't already have your own website, like squarespace.com, guys. This is no joke. This is 2020. You need to get on, you need to get on it. And then the other two things I have, um, I've been showing you guys my process on this painting. I was not very crazy about it when I started. Now I really like it, so that's a great thing. But this, I have to finish painting the sides. I know they look painted, but they're not as clean as the rest of the piece because I, um, Kind of half acid. I hate, I hate painting the sides of a canvas. It drives me absolutely up the wall bananas. I just think it's so boring and I hate, like I never mix enough paint. Like I mix enough paint for the front and then I never have like enough to do on the top or I just get lazy and I don't want to. But anyways, hopefully I don't go crazy and this doesn't take that long, but I guess maybe we'll chat. Should we chat? Actually, I don't know the best way to paint the sides of this canvas. Maybe I should use the easel. <laughs> I hope you guys know, I don't try and make my process look super perfect. Half the time I'm a freaking mess. I'm just not a perfect person. I don't think there's such a thing as a perfect process. Even the most productive people you see on the internet are crazy. Do I have anything exciting to tell you guys about? Well, you probably like, okay, here's a crazy thing. I get comments sometimes from people, comments that I would have left on YouTube videos a couple years ago. And it's from younger artists and they say stuff like, you're living my dream life and you're a full-time artist. Like you're really, oh. And it's like crazy because, because I feel like if I looked at myself now, a couple years ago, I'd be like, oh my God, like I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do. Because when I was growing up, you know, I watched Bailey J like religiously and you know, that whole community of artists, Lamaya Crescent, oh my God, who else did I watch? Happy D Artist, um, Juicy Ink, um, even Drawing with Waffles, who's still on YouTube. I was watching Jazza, um, but I grew up watching all those artists and being like, oh my God, like that's the dream. And I obviously, I live with my parents. Like I'm not like sustainably a full-time artist. Could I sustain myself in a dinky studio apartment somewhere? 
Yes, I could. But there's no point. Like, I'm gonna save my money. Like, I'm no Emma Chamberlain. I'm not gonna have an apartment in LA. Like, that's not my life, you know? We have this beautiful little community. It's me and you guys. And it's perfect. You guys are very nice to me all the time and I love it and it's perfect. And I don't really need anything else, I don't think. The one thing I wanna do is just keep improving my art. I think I'm kind of in that zone, but there's definitely um, a sense of uh, adventure that I haven't experienced yet. I wanna do more. So I think college. I'm literally on the biggest tangent right now. I can't make sense of anything. There's no theme to what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Okay, I need to pull myself together, okay. That's just the way it goes sometimes. I'm not mad about it. I don't know. Seventh grade? Just for free on the internet. It's like a chef. What's like a chef never shares his recipe or whatever? I feel like the avatar. How freaking cool would that be? I can do that. It's just risky. The fear of what? The fear of doing something different? <sighs> I don't know. And if you've watched the video of Will Smith, whatever fear you're facing, on the other side of it is bliss. Okay, what else has been on my mind? Honestly? <laughs> I'm like that. Oh, things have been pretty good. So I have to just do touch-ups to this, even though I already sent them the final image. Oh, crap. I have to varnish it too. I almost forgot about that. Hey guys, um, nighttime alert. I just got back from my little day trip to my favorite place in the whole world, <laughs> Long Island. Um, I've been out all day, I had to bring my painting to a coffee shop in Long Island for like this group show thing. Pretty cool. Um, my first group show, ah! And I got to see my cousins after. And my aunt and my uncle, um, so that was nice. Now I'm back home, that's what I came here to say. <laughs> ah. Okay, this is the end of the video. I um, am filming the outro now because I didn't do it before. Today was mostly about the painting I did for my group show, which was a lot of fun. I really liked the way it turned out, and um, I met some really cool peeps along the way. Thank you, Angela, for inviting me to the group show. Thank you, Toast Coffee House in Port Jeff for allowing me to show my work there. Word up, baby Yoda, baby, baby Yoda. I'm not sure yet if I'll see you before Christmas, so Merry Christmas. And if you celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. If you don't celebrate anything at all, holla, do your thing. Do your dance, do your dance, do your dance. Nah. See ya.